Hey guys, in this video we want to explain to you what to do when you have a Windows application that does not respond anymore and you just want to quit it. So the process that we're going to do here is called a forced quit. And we do this by going to the taskbar at the bottom of the screen and here we're going to right click on the taskbar. And in this drop down menu that we see we're going to find task manager. So we're going to select this. And in the new window that opens up now, we see all the applications that are running at this point, including the application that we would like to quit because it doesn't respond anymore. Now it may be that this window looks a little bit different to you. That's because there's different levels of details that the task manager is able to present. So look at this more detailed view. You see you're getting a lot more of information and a lot more options. So in case you see this view, it works in pretty much exactly the same way. But now let us go back to the uh, less detailed view. And as we found out before in this list, we're going to find all the applications that are running at this time. And let's say the mail application is the one that doesn't respond to us anymore. And we want to uh, exit this and quit this application. Then we're just going to select this and we can either right click on it. And then we see here end task and we select this here. And this will end, of course, the application or we just select here the mail application. And on the bottom right of the window, we also find here the end task button. We select this and now the mail application in this case will stop running. And for you, this may actually take a little bit longer than what we've seen here because the uh, application has some kind of uh, fault. And then sometimes when you press on the end task button, it does take a little bit longer for the, the application actually to quit. And then afterwards, we can, of course, now again, start our application again, and it should work just as it used to be before. And in case this process with the task manager does not work for you, then I suggest you save all your work as best as you can, and then you restart your entire computer. Okay, so this was already it for this video. I hope you found the information helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.